Hey, on to Amatina. <laughs> Still not a granny, but hope to be some be one someday. So this is the fifth and final square that I'm going to show you in our Amakal, which means this is coming to an end. Well, we're finishing with the squares, then it's just joining in the border. Yeah. So I really like this one, actually, because I just went back to the basics and just uh, sort of did a repeat of the border sign inside of the center of this one. So it's really basic, but I love and actually love it when you put it like this, that it looks like this little sort of a heathen symbol or something. Sorry to all the you know people who don't think heathen is uh, something positive, but here we we are. Um, we are taught about our heathen culture with some pride, so that's not a negative thing for me. So you can do loads of different types. You can just use the basic uh, one color B here for the center and the main color always for all the uh, odd number rounds. And this can be made with all kinds of fun colors, obviously. Here's another one. And then you can add some more colors and you can do the splash of color extra here in in the round one and then just an, a random other random color in in round two and then uh, i start with the pattern color here b now the path uh, blah, 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 with the main color a for the little uh symbol here and then this is quite fun actually because so there's quite a lot of uh there's you you can easily use more colors for this one so it's easy to use three pattern colors here, B for the center, which is fun. And then you can even go completely crazy and use the third pattern color for the, the fourth pattern color for the center. And, and here I used this uh, dark sheep black as same as just to talk to the border because that was like, this was one of the first ones I made actually because I was, I was thinking about the border, the frame design when I made this one. So you can, you don't even have to use color A if you don't want to <coughs> in this one, but I am just going to make one in two colors actually now for this one, because I haven't made one in just two colors for my Tinna, I'm a Tinna square. And so I'm just gonna make it hot pink and white. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and I have already done here rounds one and two of Amatina because they are exactly the same as Amasaga and Amalola and Amamaria. So <laughs> that's rounds one and two for you. And then we keep going and go on to, and then I'll show you up to round seven. Okay, round one and two of Amatina exactly like Amasaga. On to round three then, and now I'm going to be using color A again. I used A for one and B for two. But like I said, you can use lots of colors in this one actually for the center. Okay, and this is a very simple round actually. It's just single crochets, but I'm gonna do it with it anyway. And we're gonna work over our tail here. And I've already did the one chain and we're gonna start by doing four single crochets. Okay, two, three, and four. And the fourth one lands in the first corner chain, and then we chain two for the corner. And now to the repeat for round three for Amatina is just seven single crochets and then chain two. So it's seven single crochets on each side of our Amatina square. I kind of find it fun to say Amatina. <laughs> I mean, I'm obviously way too young to be a granny. Well, yeah, and my, my sons are way too young too. <laughs> but still, it's fun. So yeah, seven single crochets and two chains. That's the repeat here. So we're gonna do that uh, a couple of more times. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Two, three, five, six, and the seven lands in the first corner chain. And then two chains for the corner. Again, we go with seven single crochets. Seven lands in the corner chain and chain two. Okay, so that's all three repeats done for round three. And then we finish the round with three single crochets. One, two, and Three, and this last single crochet we're going to work on around our upcoming color B, like so. 
and then join into, skip the, the chain always, and join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round, using color B, and first always taking care to tuck at it nicely, so everything is nice and tight at the join. Et voila! And then chain one just to fasten it here, and that is round three for you. Very easy and basic. Oh, I'm going to cut my tail here. If I find my scissors, yes. Okay, so that was round three of Amatina. Okay, on to round four, and we're using our pattern color B again here. And we start again with four single crochets. Last one lands here in the corner chain. Chain two for the corner, and then this is an all single crochet round as well. And we do nine single crochets now on each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and the ninth lands in the first corner chain and then chain two for the corner so this is the repeat for round four nine single crochets and two chains for the corner this is very basic all i'm going to do more two more repeats it is actually <laughs> i mean i was saying i love having different centers and i could never make a whole blanket with just always repeating the same over and over again but it was getting to be a bit of a challenge to get, you know, new, like, innovative centers with only seven rounds, because there's only seven rounds in the center, you know, so there's a limited amount of things to, you can do, actually, but in the end, I obviously had more than, than I could choose from, so I had to choose my favorite ones, but at one point, I was like, okay, it's just because you have all these ideas, but I was limited with seven rounds, which is not a whole lot, especially because rounds one and two kind of even don't even count, they're always just the same. <laughs> Okay, that's nine then, and now two chains in the corner, and then we finish this round with five single crochets because we already did four in the beginning. So one and, whoops, up, and two and three and four, and the fifth one lands here in the join. Work our fifth and last single crochet of the round here around our upcoming color A like so, and then join into, and it's actually extra important now to do the join like really tight because we don't have any DCs to hide it. So it's a bit more visible, but we can fix that in blocking. Okay, and so tuck it everything nice and tight. And then we're gonna join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round with our upcoming color A, whoop, whoop, with the slip stitch and then chain one to fasten it. Okay, so this was round four. And the, the join here is a bit more visible. So do take care to do some extra tucking here at this in, in blocking you guys, because we're not, we don't have any DCs to hide it. Round four, all done. Okay, on to round five of Amatena. And we did the chain one, and we're gonna start by doing two single crochets. And then we do one double crochet, and that one lands here in the first corner chain from round three. And then we do one single crochet and two chains. And now we get to the repeat for round five, and that is one single crochet, one double crochet, and that one lands here in the second corner chain from round three. And then we do seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we go one double crochet down to the first corner chain from round three. One single crochet into the corner chain and chain two for the corner. Okay, so repeat for round five is one single crochet here into the second corner chain from last round. One double crochet down to the second corner chain from round three seven single crochets, one double crochet into the first corner chain from round three, one double, no, one single crochet into the first corner chain from last round, and then chain two for the corner. And I think I will just 
continue and do the next two repeats with you guys. I do hope that you have had as much fun with my Amakal blanket that I, as I have. I really loved making these. And even like at one point, I was a bit upset that I decided to make the queen size. <laughs> I was just like, no, it'll never be finished. But at the same time, it was so much fun to make a big one because there was there's so much room for color play. Like, and I always had a new and new idea of what to do. And so I was really, it was a lot of fun to make a really big one just to get, uh, you know, to run wild with the colors and do some experiments with them. And it's always good that I can make those so that I can show you different kinds of ways before you guys start and I cannot wait. Well, at this point, I would probably start to have seen some squares, hopefully from you guys, but oh my God, it'll be such fun to see all your squares. Such fun, such fun. Oh, love my my annual calls. Those are the most fun. The most difficult patterns to make or like the most work for a pattern, but definitely the most fun pattern of the year, without a doubt. Okay, so I've done my three repeats, rambled on as usual, and we're gonna finish our round by making one single crochet, one double crochet, and then five single crochets. One and two and three and four, and the fifth one we're gonna work over our upcoming color, pop our color B here up on the hook, tuck at it nicely so everything is nice and tight at the join. And that was the last single crochet. And we skip the chain as always and join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round with color B. Like so, whoop, whoop, and chain one. Okay, so this was round five for Amatina. <laughs> Okay, on to uh, round six. And this time around, we are going to work half double crochets instead instead of the basic uh, and normal double crochets that you use in mosaic crochet. Just because in this one, actually, you have quite a lot of DCs in a row here. These, and I used to start to just work them with, as DCs, but then they, they, they tend to sort of bulge a bit. So uh, I fixed that by using half double crochets instead. So we start our round six. We're using color A and we start our round six with one half double crochet. So we're just gonna yarn over, go straight down, pull your yarn up of the out of the loop that we're working into. And we have three loops up on our hook and you yarn over and pull through all three like this. And then we're going to do three single crochets and chain two for the corner. And now we get to the repeat for round six. Just get a bit of yarn there. Oop. And we're going to do three single crochets, seven half double crochets all the over here. Go through all three, one and whoop, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then it's one, two three single crochets and chain two for the corner. Okay, so the repeat for round six is three single crochets, seven half double crochets here, three singles and chain two for the corner. Okay, and we do two more rounds. Uh, rounds, no, two more repeats of the same. At the moment I am working, these are the last uh, squares of my big blanket. So I <laughs> obviously I could have filmed this ages ago, but I did it with the last five that I had to make. <laughs> so I'm quite excited to finish 
my last squares and then next week. So, you know, I'm filming this beforehand. It is now uh, beginning of July. Uh, like when I'm filming it, not when you are seeing this. So, but um, I just wanted to film at the same time sort of what I'm doing and what you will be doing when I'm filming it. So at like now and like real time when I'm filming this, I am really excited to start joining next week. Like I hope you are also at real time seeing this. <laughs> this is too complicated. Back to the future. <laughs> but yeah, oh no, I'm so excited to start arranging my squares and deciding how to do it. And I love joining, absolutely love joining. And then there's the, 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 the border. And I mean, I love the borders, but I love all parts of it. <laughs> just love to crochet but uh joining and the border and it's just you see it come all together and you know we're getting close to the finish line and and next up after this one next week is joining and then the border and oh it's such fun and like i said i can't i mean i'm I, now i'm excited to see my blanket come together and then when once we start the call i will be so excited to see all of yours oh it's such fun okay uh rambling and repeating done <laughs> and to finish the round we are going to do three single crochets two and three and then we're going to do six half double crochets here whoops because we started the round with one half double crochet there and so total we have seven in here between corners Okay, and here we get to go at least over one uh, join, you see? Here is one and two, and we always opt for the lower one of the two when we're going over a join. Up. Okay, that was the fifth one here that went over the join, and six. So, and then we're going to join into the back loop of the first half double crochet of the round using color A. Whoop, whoop, slip stitch and chain one. Okay, so this was round six of the Amatina Square. And did you know what I mean? When you put it like this, it just looks so cute when it's up on ends like this. Hmm. Simple is often just best really, isn't it? Okay. Round six all done. Just one more to go to show you. You have quite more left to finish the square, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to show you one more. <laughs> okay, on to round seven, which is the final round that I'm going to show you here, because then it's all just the same. It's just the center bit that changes, not the design as a whole. And we start round seven. This is actually an all single crochet round. And we start round seven with chain one, which we already did. And then we do four single crochets to get to the corner. Three and four and chain two for the corner. And now we're going to do 15 single crochets on each side and then chain two. That's the repeat for round seven. 15 single crochets, chain two for the corner. And I think this one will actually be really cute as a tiny one as well. I'm going to try and make cushions with all the tiny ones just to show how, see how they see and show how they will look both using just one type and then mixing them all together. Oh, I do love tiny squares. Okay, 15 single crochets, chain two for the corner and two more times. So basically this is a very simple round we're just framing up our pink with white before starting the petals and so even though i'm not going to show you now rounds after this what you do have to keep in mind when working round uh, nine which is the next one with the color a is that when you um frame up for the petals you see here then just because there's no sort of uh, obvious center here for this one for the dc here when you're framing up for the petals just 
remember to count then here and we have seven half double crochets here so it's three and three and then the center one is the middle just just take care of that always this is a symmetrical this is a geometric uh, design so you always just want to take care that everything is smack right in the middle of each side when you're framing stuff up for like that like the petals obviously so or you know if you make a mistake, that's okay too. <laughs> okay. We are getting close here. 14 and 15 and then chain two for the corner. And then that was the last repeat. And then we are going to do 11 single crochets because we started here with four. So for this side to finish it, we need 11 more. Do, 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 do. And for the last single crochet, we always want to pop our upcoming color up on our hook and work around it like so. And then we tuck at color B nice and because I'm just continuing, I'm just going to use the uh, same color now for the center and the petals. Tuck at it nicely and uh, join by going into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round and foot foot joining with a slip stitch. And there you go. That's the center for Amatina. <coughs> Sorry. All done. And now you will continue and work rounds 8 to 23 exactly like Amasaga. And Opa! Amatina. Yay! The last one out of the bunch already. Go, go, go.